point, guys, I've had an experiment uh, and a request to make the Dutch oven bread that just uses four ingredients. So let's see how this turns out. There's actually two ways of making it. I'm going to do it this way where you let it set overnight. So in my bowl, I have three cups of flour, and I just use all purpose flour. Then I need to be better prepared, but I buy my yeast in bulk because I make our own breads and everything. So you just dump in a quarter cup, a quarter teaspoon of yeast. And I know people are gonna freak out when they see this, but I keep all my different salts in big half gallon jars. And I already got my teaspoon of salt. And you dump that in. Then you just mix that all up really well. Make sure everything's mixed up pretty good. Yeah, there goes my bowl sliding around because I really need to get a tripod, don't I? And then you dump in cup and a half of water. And I think I'll get a spatula out to mix it. And that's your four ingredients. So since my bowl's flipping around, I'll mix it up. Okay, that took me all of 60 seconds to get it mixed up. You see how it's real sticky? That's normal. That's what this is supposed to be like. So, I'm going to get some plastic wrap, cover it up, and just let it sit on my cupboard overnight. We'll be back. Hey guys, it's the next day, and this has been setting out, oh, I don't know, what, maybe 12, 13 hours anyway, maybe 14 hours. So, I'm getting ready to put my... Um, well, I'll show you what I'm using. I have several cast iron items, but um, my Dutch oven, I think, is too big. Oh, I'm going to use one of these deeper, deep skillets. I'm going to say it's three or four inches deep. And I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. You got to put it in the oven between 450 and 500 for 30 minutes to get it really, really hot. And um, I'll come back and we'll do the next process as the pan gets hot. Okay, guys, let's see how this works. I've got oven gloves, grill gloves, whatever you want to call them. Cast iron is heavy. This has been in the oven at 450 degrees for uh, probably 45 minutes. And I'm going to use parchment paper. I'm going to line my pan with parchment paper. And here's what we have. Sticky gooey and I don't know I've done it. I've done it different ways but I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm just going to plop it in there just poured it in the pan just like that and I'm gonna cover with my lid and I'm going to put it back in the oven for 30 minutes now, it's my understanding that it's the steam. you got to put the lid on because it's the steam that creates the crispy crust. So, I'll get that back in the oven, and we'll be back in about a half an hour. Okay, the timer just went off for the 30 minutes. Let's open the oven. And, guys, I don't have my oven light burned out. I'll pull this out a little ways. Now, we need to take the lid off 
for 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, that looks pretty decent already. Okay, now I'm going to close it and set the timer again. Alrighty, guys, I continued baking it for, I believe it was about 15 minutes. Just kind of wait until it's golden brown. And the next thing I'm going to do is dump it out onto a towel that I have on my countertop. And since the pan is so heavy and hot, 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 I'll just come back after I've dumped it out. Alrighty, here it is out of the pan. And I know it's odd shaped, but who cares? It's going to taste the same. And if I'd had a smaller pan, it would have raised up higher. Um, this one kind of spread out, but that's okay. Um, one thing that somebody asked is, how do you know if the bread is done? I'm going to try to do this. My countertop's clean, so don't freak out. But, turn it over, and notice how it sounds hollow? That means your bread's done. It says to uh, let it cool completely, and anytime you make bread, it says let it cool completely, but no, I'm not going to do that. Who can stand to get hot bread out of the oven and just let it set till it's cool? There's nothing better than fresh bread out of the oven. So I'll slice it and we'll take a look at I it. I thought you might want to see me slice it open. So, um, ouch, that's hot. Um, I'm, I've got you leaning up against my coffee cup. So let's hope you don't fall. But, I'm going to have to hang on to this. See this knife? I bought this knife back in 1977, I believe. Maybe 78. But, I've had it a long, long time. And I don't remember what they called it then. But, it's the best knife I've ever had. Still slices tomatoes thin. It's the best bread knife I've got. Ooh, can you hear that crunch? Mm. Ouch! Oh, wow, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Anyway, it's steaming hot. And, of course, got my butter right here. Butter melted through all those delicious holes. I'd give you all a bite. But, too bad we don't have smell-o-vision. This is amazing. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to try a different way of making it and um, let you know how that turns out. Basically, the only difference is, is you don't have to let it sit on your countertop for so long. Um, this looks so good. I don't know if I would mess with it. Um, I may try to find a smaller Dutch oven so my bread is more... Um, gets bigger, taller, and maybe I'll shape it. You can shape it, I think, with flour, but I just plopped it in there. That's the idea with this Dutch oven bread is make it easy. And maybe I'll bring the ingredients to Lollapalooza and we'll try doing it over a campfire. Frugal RV gal, I think you're the one with the Dutch ovens. Let's give it a try. Oh my word, guys. This stuff is amazing. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Got butter that goes in, almost like um, English muffin. Wow. Anyway, see y'all later. Thanks for watching.